Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a little bit of a what I eat in a day slash grocery shopping, all those different types of things. I've just made myself a coffee. And I just use this um, Barista Oat Milk, the organic one. It's The brand is called Minor Figures, if you can see it there. I normally like the Oatly or the Cali Farms ones, but they're like out of stock continuously at the moment. So I can't get my hands on them. So that one will do for now. Um, but I pretty much, I weigh my, my milk as well. I use 125 meals to 130 meals and I have two coffees a day. So it ends up being like 250 to 260 meals of coffee. So that's, sorry, of milk. So that's how I track it. But pretty much I'm just going to have my coffee, do some work. And then I'm going to eat my overnight wheat big soon before we go to the gym. I like to eat before I go to the gym because if I don't, I'll literally feel like I'm going to pass out and be so hangry. So I'll eat that before we go, but I'm going to do some work first. All right, so it's about like, 15, 20 minutes later and I'm starving. I have my overnight wheat bix which looks so freaking good. I'm gonna insert a video here of me making them from the night before. Okay, so I know we have uh, backtracked a little bit. Currently at the uh, airport with Tori in Sydney going to Europe and I forgot to film this section well, this of- This is not for your Europe vlog. No, this is, this is my what I eat in a day vlog and we're backtracking a little bit. I didn't end up filming the wheat bix recipe, completely forgot, but basically all you need to know is I have four wheat bix crush them up, put some almond milk, no, no, no almond milk, no, I put water and a scoop of protein powder, shake it in a mixer, put it in the um, dried wheat bix and then you put 160, 180 grams of yogurt on top, put blueberries, put peanut butter and call it a day. <laughs> okay, now back to the video. So pretty much at the moment I am eating in a growing phase, I think it's just roughly around 2,660 cows. I am holding this until after Europe. So I go to Europe in like just over a month, which is literally insane. I won't be tracking my food at all while I'm there, just pretty much intuitively eating, making sure I'm eating enough food especially. Um, so I'm gonna keep my cows here until after Europe and then I'll get back into a growing phase before starting prep again in like October slash November, which is really exciting. Um, but pretty much my weight has like been increasing literally every single week. Um, so that's why like the growing phase I'm currently at or the calories I'm eating right now is sufficient enough for my body, which is crazy because last year I could easily get it up to like 3000 and my weight was pretty much stable. So your body goes through different phases as well. And like, it depends on your metabolism at the time and how much energy output you have and all those different types of things. But after Europe, we'll definitely keep pushing a lot higher so I can like grow quite fast. I just want to be comfortable in Europe and still confident in myself in the European summer. So that's why I'm doing that. But I'm gonna eat this now and then, I don't know if I'm gonna pre-workout or not today. I'll decide soon. If I do, I'll get back to you. All right, so whenever I have pre-workout, I always put creatine with it as well. Literally doesn't matter what creatine you use, as long as it's creatine monohydrate. Um, I just use the one from EHP Labs because the container is literally huge. But I just do one scoop of this, which is like three to five grams. Like so. And then I use my favorite pre-workout, the Sour Ghost Watermelon. Literally nothing beats it. You can have two scoops, but that tips me over the edge. So I literally just have one. Oh, it smells so good. I know in the last vlog I said I haven't been having pre-workout. I actually haven't, but today we feel like it. We do. But I put some ice in it as well. Ice cubes aren't ready. That's fine. And then we are pretty much ready to go. I'm not gonna vlog any of the gym or anything. Um, I'll be back to you when I see my post gym snack, which I think is going to be crumpets, because that's all I have. I still need to go grocery shopping today, but pre-workout, sour gross watermelon and creatine, and now we are ready to go. Oh, wow. We are finally back from the gym, and I am starving. It is 12.45, and we left at 9 a.m., so that's just not okay, but we did go to um, the shops to get a few things as well, so it's not like I've been at the gym the whole time, but... Finally having my morning snack a bit late. I'll probably have dinner, no sorry, lunch pretty much straight away after. But I'm gonna have three crumpets. And then just on my crumpets, I'm adding 20 grams of Biscoff. I know that it's not the best for you, but it tastes incredible, so I don't care. Always when you're weighing like spreads and everything as well, put it on the scale, tear it to zero, and then you can take it out and it'll go to like negative 12. It just is way more accurate than putting it onto the crumpets. It doesn't work as well. All right, so this is my snack, three crumpets, 20 grams of Biscoff. I'm gonna eat this and then literally probably in half an hour, I'll start making my lunch. 
All right, we're back in the kitchen again, cooking lunch. I just had a shower, got changed into some comfy clothes because I was feeling a little bit gross after the gym. But I'm gonna make stir fry for lunch. Actually, when we went to the shops before, I did just get some like packet veggies and this teriyaki um, sauce for stir fry because I had literally nothing to make lunch because it is Monday and I didn't go to the grocery store yesterday. So I'm gonna go after lunch. But I'm making, I have these like noodles. Um, the brand, Mr. Chen's, Mr. Chen's. Um, they are the udon noodle ones. They're so good. And then I'll be, basically just have a packet of this, boil it in some hot water. Then I'm gonna use one serving of this teriyaki um, stir fry. It's used, I use the brand Katong. I think that's how you say it, Katong. Um, and I use one serving, four servings in this. Then I've already cooked some chicken yesterday, so that's already pre-cooked. And then I'll just measure out some stuff. And then I have some carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. I never, never buy packet veggies, but today I was feeling extra lazy. So I just quickly wanted to make something for lunch. Hadn't gone shopping yet, so I was like, that will do. So I'm gonna cook all the veg today, and then I'll probably, I'm not gonna eat it all in my lunch. I'll just like put some in it and then put the rest in the fridge for the coming week. But I'm going to make this and then eat it and then I'm going to write a grocery list to go to the supermarket. But my meals have actually been very high protein today. Like my breakfast was super high because I had the yogurt and the protein powder. Um, and then I'm having lunch. Like this has 10 grams of protein in it, but I'm having chicken. And then dinner, my like um, naan bread and my chicken protein. So I actually don't get much chicken for lunch or dinner because I have quite a lot of protein throughout the day. So if you're looking at my meal and you're like, why did she only have like three pieces of chicken? It's because I've already hit my protein target and I don't need to. So that is why. But I'm going to carry on. I'm going to time slap this and you'll see me make my stuff right. product of lunch with just the noodles, veg, chicken, and the teriyaki sauce. Then I added some sesame seeds on top as well. Actually looks so good. All right, while I eat this, I'm just gonna write a um, grocery list on my phone. Sometimes I do it on Notion, sometimes I just do it on notes, whatever I'm feeling. Probably just do it on notes today because I just want it quick. Um, so I basically just figure out what I want for dinner and then just go backwards from there and then like top up all my staples, like crumpets, bagels, exo crunch, almond milk, oat milk, um, literally all that sort of stuff. Then I also buy for my partner Geordie as well. So I buy like his type of snacks and bulk up on some dinner things too. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna write out my list. I literally have no idea what I want for dinner this week. All I know is that we're having buttered chicken tonight and that's it. So I've got to brainstorm some ideas and then we will go grocery shopping after this. Okay, we're on the way to the grocery store now. It's literally 600 meters away from me, which is just fabulous. Um, but I've decided tonight, buttered chicken, Tomorrow, we're gonna have tacos. Then Wednesday night, we're gonna have rissoles. I always do it with veggies, sweet potato. Then Thursday, Geordie is normally out for dinner. So I will just make something random. And then Friday, we'll have pasta. So I've got the week sorted. Oh, also, I have kind of discovered, like this is very obvious, like obviously, but when I have pre-workout, I literally crash in the afternoon. And that's what I did today. like. Pre-workout, great, had an awesome workout, but I feel so tired now. I feel like at the calm down of the pre-workout, but I didn't have another coffee. I only had one coffee today. Um, but yeah, just just tired. Anyways, I still need to walk the dog tonight and do some more work and edit my weekly vlog. All right, let's go grocery shopping.
little bit of a haul of what I got from the grocery store um, and go through it a little bit quickly because a lot of it's Geordie's as well. But basically, aka Geordie's, aka Geordie's, I got some Exo Crunch, of course. It's all not um, in the same category, so it's going to be very sporadic, but I got some Exo Crunch. This is the butter chicken um, sauce that I used to go on top. It's so good. Oat milk, up it goes. I get the protein van vanilla ones. They're incredible. These are the pasta sauces I use to make pasta. We're also having a taco tomorrow night, like I said. So just got the crispy chicken sachet and the Mexican rice. And then also got some garlic bread and some tortellini. I got the slow cooked veal one, which had a cheese in it, which we'll have Friday night. Here's the naan bread we use for the butter chicken. Also be careful because there's two bread things in here and half one of the bread is one serving. So technically, if you put it into my fitness pal, you'll say you have two servings if you just have one piece of bread. So it gets you up. Normal rice, I weigh all of my rice cooked so much easier that way. Then the meats we got. I like this extra lean pork mince. It's new from Woolworths. That's what I'll just have for lunch. It's chicken breasts. Lean beef mints. I don't have extra lean beef mints at the Woolies often. So I just got the lean one. And then in the third bag, just got some wraps, which we'll make tomorrow night for the tacos. Well, Jordi will have burritos most likely. Just got some bread to top up in the freezer. Snakes, and I'm so excited to try this chocolate. It's like the new hedgehog slices caramel. It looks delicious. And then this is like literally just all fruit and veg in here, but I did get some 95% dark chocolate. And then in the final grocery bag, I got, I'm also gonna make some nachos with the tacos tomorrow night. So I just got these little corn chips. Then bagels. They I normally have the sesame ones or the natural, I think it's called. I don't know what it's called. But they only had a whole meal left, but it will do. There's actually 10 grams of protein in one of these bagels. I just read the back of this one. So that's crazy. And then Giovanni yogurt for Geordie. That's pretty much just got some like sauces, top-ups, QP, half fat. If you're not on the half fat QP sauce, what are you doing? That is so good. And then these were on sale, so I obviously had to get them. They're one of my favorite ice creams. It's salted caramel and macadamia from the Connoisseur brand. They're delicious. And then the last big thing is diet right because the Perth water here sucks as always, but a lot more used to the Perth water now. I feel like I can't really taste that taste gross. But that is pretty much it. And then some taco shells. So all of that cost me 280, technically 250 without these things, because these add up so expensive. So when you divide that by two, 125 each, it's actually not that bad for a lot of stuff. Um, it definitely helps. I find it's a lot cheaper if you are buying for two people compared to like one, but it's worked well. So that was everything. I'm gonna put this away. Have a snack, maybe take the dog for a W if it's not raining because the storm, there's clouds don't look good outside, but we'll see. All right, I just unpacked all the groceries, organized it. There's stuff everywhere, but it's always like when every single housemate does the grocery shopping at the start of the week, there's so much stuff in the pantry and cupboard. It's literally like playing Tetris, trying to fit it all in. But I did it. I have my snack. I have 50 grams of Exo Crunch, 120 mils of almond milk, and 20 grams of peanut butter. I'm just gonna eat this. It's nearly 4:45. Um, but I want to eat this so I can like digest before dinner because I'm just not hungry for dinner at the moment. So I'm trying to like, push my snack a little bit earlier. Um, which this is not earlier, so don't even worry about it. We're back in the kitchen once again, and it is dinner time. It's nearly 7 p.m. I'm about to start cooking dinner and we're having butter chicken, which is one of my favorites. So I'll get all the ingredients and I'll show you how to make it. All right, so I've already tracked my everything into my fitness pal for today. So I'm just seeing how much chicken I get. I also cook for Geordie as well. He's just at training, but I do it separately so I can weigh everything. So I pretty much cook pretty much every single night so I can weigh everything, but I've actually taught him how to weigh a lot of my foods. That definitely helps. When it comes to like pasta sauce and stuff like that, we do it as a big bunch. I don't weigh that. And I just like eye it or guesstimate it as well, but then I'll weigh the pasta. So it's kind of like give and take here and there. So I get hundred grams of raw chicken. All right, so that is a hundred grams. And then I just chop this up and put it to the side and I'll put it on a different pan as well. Honestly, if I had it my way, I literally would eat the exact same dinner for every single, like, every single night. Um, but Jordi, he doesn't even like to eat the same lunch or dinner or, like, dinner two nights in a row. So, we compromise and we cook at different things pretty much every single night. But have, like, very similar meals. Like, we kind of just go, we rotate through a few things. Like, I'm pretty sure we pretty much have, like, tacos, pasta, pizza, butter chicken, stir fry. 
I can't even think of anything else we have, but it's nothing like too fancy. It's pretty simple. So that's all my chicken there. And then I'm going to chop all the Geordies up, which, which will probably be like two breasts. He eats a lot of food, but then also I'll like put some um, in another container for him. So we have some lunch for tomorrow. I don't even measure the rice at all. I literally just pour it straight in here, cover it with water, and then I weigh my rice cooked, which makes it so much easier. So it means Jordy and I don't have to separate it. We can just do it all at once. I also don't measure out my oil. I just track half a teaspoon when I use it. It's literally just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pans. So this is all Geordie's, oh, you can't even see, but this is all Geordie's on this pan. And then this is my little chicken here. I got myself a no sugar Coke. I probably have one every second night. I like the little, the smaller cans. The big ones are quite big. I don't normally finish them, but I don't care if it's bad for you. I don't care if there's many chemicals in it. It tastes good. I like it, so it is what it is. I'm gonna have it. But we do have a slight issue. The problem with not weighing my rice is I don't think I've cooked enough. So I'm gonna have to probably cook more, which is a bit inconvenient. Right, I'm gonna put the butter chicken in. This ma these ma blah, 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 blah. the macros on this is really good. It's only 2.4 grams of fat per serving. I feel like a lot of butter chicken, the fat content is really high in it. So if you're looking for a low fat butter chicken, this is the one. But make sure to only get mild and not spicy. So put this on the scale, tear it to zero. Then we'll put it on like this, put it back on, and it says negative 66, 100, five grams over, sue me. And then I'll put the rest on um, Geordie's. And I've just got to cook the broccolini too. Um, just give you a little bit of update with everything. I, like I said, like I'm loosely tracking like now and then in terms of like if I'm five grams or 10 grams over like the butter chicken serving. If I'm two grams over chicken, I'm not going to like dice it again like I would on prep. Or if I'm like five grams over on rice, it's like okay. Um, compared to like when I was on prep, I would like go to the actual gram, like 24 seven, did, didn't miss a beat or anything. But, like, at the moment, it's not, like, life or death, you know? It never is, but, like, to be dramatic. And then when I get back from Europe, I'll probably be a little bit more on for, like, a few months. And then as soon as, like, we get really close, I'm going to, like, you want to implement, like, dieting protocols and stuff, like, before you start prep. So you want to kind of get used to, like, being on 24-7. So I'll be on, like, 24-7 in my growing phase. And then, like, pretty much when you start prep, it just, like, you literally nothing changes it's just like your calories drop and you might start cardio and that's like it but you pretty much have like the whole lifestyle but again it same thing is though like i still live pretty much the whole like the lifestyle year round i'm just not if i have um some meals off like on the weekend i went out for dinner with my partner i left myself um calories and i didn't track it because i don't need to i need to enjoy that time like i'm not going to track 24 7 all year round um, cause I pretty much tracked like literally the whole entire of last year cause I was learning how to track the start of last year. And then I made sure to like be on. So I knew I wasn't going to be like stressing prep, learning how to do it. So now I'm kind of like a lot more experienced with it, I guess. So I like can eye things a lot better and do all those things. Kind of bottom line, I'm still pretty much being bang on and consistent as possible to benefit myself in a growing phase. But if I'm going to go for a meal out, I'm not going to track it unless it's GYG or grilled because that's really easy to track. Or if I have like a whole day coincidentally off tracking, so be it as well. So that's just like a little bit of an update of everything, especially heading into Europe where I won't be tracking at all. I'm just going to be eating all the pizza and pasta and gelato there is. This is the final product. Look how good that looks. Insane. I'm going to devour this while I drink my Coke as well. Um, we're going to try we the new hedgehog slice. I'm very excited. That. Caramel hedgehog slice. <laughs> you can't eat it now. That's great. That's all mine. I have to turn it this way. Oh, what about that? That's okay. Do you want half and half of me? No. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes really good. Oh, yeah. All right, I have to be quiet because pretty much everyone is in bed sleeping. But thank you for watching today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll be sure to keep bringing the vlogs coming. I'm loving filming and editing them at the moment. So just going to keep being on my grind. But other than that, hope you enjoyed and I'll speak to you next time.